Welcome back to my hospital room. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable scrap yarn project. A strawberry. All you'll need is some red, yellow, and green wool, a little bit of stuffing, a four millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a needle. So this project, we start from the tip of the strawberry and work our way up. So to begin, make a, rat, a magic ring. So you're going to make an X, put your hook under the first loop, grab this one, and chain one. Now you're going to do four single crochets inside the magic ring on top of both of these strings. On your second round, you're going to start with a single crochet, then put in your stitch marker. Then in the next stitch, you're going to increase or do two single crochets. And you're going to repeat this pattern the rest of the way for a total of six stitches. So for your third round, you're going to do two regular single crochets and then increase and that is your pattern all the way around single crochet single crochet and then two single crochets and that will leave you with a total of eight stitches next you're going to do three single crochets and then increase all the way around and that will leave you with 10 stitches. So one, two, three, and then two single crochets in the fourth. Next you're going to do four single crochets and then increase. You can see the pattern uh, here an extra single crochet every round as we go up. And after this round, you should have 12 stitches. So next you're going to do five single crochets and then increase. In this round, you should end with a total of 14, 14 single crochets. For round seven, you're going to do six single crochets and then increase. At the end of the round, you should have a total of 16 single crochets. For round eight, you're just going to do seven single crochets and then increase for a total of 18 single crochets. For round nine, you're going to do eight single crochets and then increase for a total of 20 single crochets. Round 10 is the final round where we're going to be increasing. So you're going to do nine single crochets and then increase. And that will give you a total of 22 single crochets. Only two more rows left of red to go. So this round, round 11, you're just going to decrease all the way around. So as you can see, I grabbed a V, um, one half of the V for two stitches and I'm gonna pull through all three. That's my first decrease. 
Then again, I'm just gonna go through not both these, but one of them. Oops. And then pull through all three loops on my hook. That's my second decrease. You're gonna end up with a total of 11 single crochets by the end. So next you're going to take your hook out, so just make a big loop so it doesn't come undone, and grab your yellow bow, put it on the needle, and now we're going to add our seeds. So you're going to put your hook in the middle of the strawberry down to the bottom, and poke it out, let's see, about there. Now the end here, we don't want it to come through, so I would just make a couple knots. It's going to be inside the strawberry, so you won't see it. Like that is fine. Pull through, make sure it doesn't come through. And then you're going to make your seeds, which is the fun part. So go one row up, and that'll make a good size seed. And then instead of poking it out through the top again, poke it where you want your next seed to be. So I'm going to say about there. Seed number one is done. Now again, I'm going to go up, one row up, and then poke out where I want my next seed to be. Okay. And you're going to continue this all the way around, all the way up, until you have seed throughout your strawberry as you want. As many or as few as you want. So once you're done seeding your strawberry, feel free to add in your stuffing before we sew it closed. You want to just use little pieces rather than a big hunk, just so it you get the right amount in there. You want it to obviously be firm, but not so you can see the stuffing through the stitches. That looks good. So next, you're just going to do five decreases, and then you're going to end with a slip stitch. So a decrease, you got three loops, go through all three, and that's your first one done. So I've just done my slip stitch, and now I'm going to cut my yarn, leaving a long enough tail so I can sew this hole closed and you should have six single crochets. Next, what you're going to do is grab your needle and go underneath one half of the V. And you're gonna continue this all the way around, so six times, so that's one. You're gonna go back under through the next one. Once you've done all of them, you're just going to pull this string and it'll close up this big hole. As you can see, I've just pulled this tight, and next you're going to poke your needle through the center and then just stick it out anywhere. So I'm just going to stick it out oops, at the other end. There we go. And this will not cause the top to stick up. There we go. And this is your strawberry. Now you can just poke your yarn through maybe one more time, up, back through the top, just to secure it, and then you can chop it off. And then we can move on to the leaves. So you're gonna start off with a magic ring. And now you're going to do five single crochets inside it, and then slip stitch just to join it so the circle is a complete circle. So I'm just doing my slip stitch to join the circle and next I'm going to make my first leaf. So I'm going to chain four and then I'm going to skip the first one, do a slip stitch all the way down the leaf, so three times. So that's one, two, 
three. So that's my first piece of the leaf. And then I'm going to slip stitch in the next, back in that magic ring. Now I'm going to repeat it. I'm going to chain four and slip stitch down it. And you should end up with a total of six of these leaf extensions. So I've just finished my strawberry leaf and I'm just going to, this is the end and I cut my wool. So I'm just going to work my way into the middle go and then my yarn will be right in the center of my leaf and then I'm just going to poke it through my magic ring and then attach it on my strawberry so I'm just going to go under it pull through it's a little tight oops there we go and now it's attached once. So I'm just going to continue attaching. Now I don't want to sew down the leaves, just the middle part. So I'm going to poke up through it again, through the middle. There we go. And I'm just going to do that a couple more times and then sew in this end into my strawberry and then I'll be done. So once you've secured your leaves by going around the middle, you're just going to poke your ends out through the bottom of the strawberry, pull it tight, and then snip them off. And then you don't even see where the green was. So again, pull tight and cut, just don't cut the strawberry. And there we have it, your strawberry is complete. Well, I hope you were able to follow along and successfully make this adorable little strawberry. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye for now!